So adaptive mobile, we see a range of mobile infrastructure vulnerabilities. Um, this spans from um, fairly complex uh, signaling based attacks where they're using uh, a range of different access mechanisms previously considered to be trusted and only the domain of the operators. Unfortunately, now typically subleased to enable third parties or in fact anyone to use them through to social engineering attacks conducted over um, service like messaging bearers. Um, and in fact, we're even seeing sort of old school social engineering attacks directly against the end users. Um, really, the complexity of the mobile ecosystem does create a number of vectors, uh, meaning that users can be vulnerable. Certainly having regulators aware of the issues, um, and that's regulators for not only the mobile infrastructure, but actually across the various industries that also use mobile infrastructure, such as, for example, banking or um, other financial related services, it is absolutely critical. Um, what I guess I would caution on is that any regulation is not too prescriptive, because by the very nature, attackers are very flexible and they can readily adapt. So regulation that empowers uh, operators and various institutions to deliver them the breadth of support and capability and also handling that conflux of privacy as well as security is very important. So there are a number of factors that we see attackers exploiting. Um, the first is that people are working from home. You know, this is um, typically an either unfamiliar environment or it's an environment where people may be isolated from advice of others to be able to confirm whether something is legitimate or not. Um, we also see that, uh, you know, many businesses, many brands um, and many new organizations are establishing more contact, more communication with their customers in in absence of physical presence, physical interaction. And again, this creates an opportunity for attackers to impersonate these organizations. And lastly, as we see um, businesses and organizations use more um, leverage of security on additional services. So for example, the one-time password or two-factor authentication message that most of us have received on our phone. There is scope for social engineering to exploit that and technical attacks to intercept these. So we really urge people to stay on their guard and be aware of any surprising or unexpected contact. <laughs> 